Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. Uh, welcome to the functional group update for People Ops. Um, I am Brittany Rohde, the People Operations Specialist, if we haven't met or if somebody's watching this call afterwards. Um, so I'd love to get started with our accomplishments over the last five weeks. Um, so with regards to hiring, we have uh, JC who has started on as our junior recruiter yesterday, or two days ago on Monday, excuse me. Um, we are very excited to have JC on the team, welcome. And then we also have a chief culture officer who will be joining us on September 11th. Uh, the name is not added in here for confidentiality since this will be shared after the fact, um, but we are very excited to uh, add some more strategic perspective on people ops and welcome our new addition uh, then. We also have, um, when, with regards to hiring, a, the lever inf implementation from Workable. Uh, that's in full effect. There is documentation coming. Sasha and Chloe have been working extremely hard uh, to transfer everything over with the migration. Um, but if you have anything that you um, have questions on, please feel free to reach out. But please wait for the documentation first, as that will be coming shortly. Uh, some other things that we have added uh, policy-wise to our handbook have been our print to leave policy. You can see. Um, you know, the issue here as well as the, there's a merge request and it's updated on our benefits page. Uh, so you can look at each entity requirements and you can look at our overall policy. If you have any questions, again, please let us know. Um, or if you are going on print to leave, please let us know as soon as possible. Uh, in addition, we've started working on career mapping. And with career mapping, uh, what we're doing is we're taking the different levels for each of the um, divisions and departments that we have and breaking out how you can move within the organization. So we started this for marketing and uh, thank you Cortland, shout out to Cortland for working very hard on kind of helping us uh, see what that would look like in the organization for marketing as we grow. Some of these positions don't exist yet or they might come into existence in the future, uh, but this is a great way to be able to see how you can grow and develop professionally, which is something PeopleOps wants to definitely promote and help with on the managerial and the individual contributor side. Um, we will be rolling this out for other departments. Um, so there is some information for development as we have the levels already built out, but we don't have this scheme for the different lateral moves or promotions. Uh, so that will be coming as well as we'll be working on sales, people ops, and um, you know, other departments within the organization. Uh, lastly, as a um, accomplishment is our geo areas iteration for the compensation calculator. So if you look at the compensation calculator now, uh, instead of saying city, it says area. And essentially what we did, and this is outlined um, on the global compensation page, but what we did was we broke out each of the different areas that uh, the UN um, looks at and says, you know, what are similar areas? And we looked at the rent indexes and found any outliers on the low end or the high end and determined uh, what each rent index should be for each area, depending on that. Um, if you have questions on how this worked, I definitely encourage you to take a look and see uh, that documentation on the global compensation page, but you can also reach out to me if you'd love to see a breakdown or um, have questions on why a rent index is for each area. Uh, the next iteration of the compensation calculator will be to bring in market data and to take a look at where calculator is doing really well and where we can make any changes. Uh, that's something I'm currently working on now, but it is holiday season, so there have been some coverages, and then um, I'll actually be doubling as SIDS EA for the month of September, and so this is a little bit stalled. Um, I'm going to still try to have it done by the end of Q3. Uh, I had an original deliverable that I wanted to have of August 30th, but um, I'll update the issue, but please be on the lookout for this closer to September 15th um, to see what that next iteration will be, and then after we gather some feedback and see um, how the compensation calculator is operating, um, expect more iterations from here for sure. And so our upcoming plans, um, we are having our summit very soon uh, in the month of October. And so we are finishing up summit planning, helping with any visas that somebody needs to be able to enter Greece or travel to Greece. So um, if you are in need of a visa or haven't booked your flights or anything like that, we will be reaching out to you. We'll also be wrapping up any uh, last minute things that we need to do, you know, organizational wise and as well as for the event itself. Um, so that's a big chunk of, of the fall for us, Q3 and Q4, and so we're very excited to plan it. We should, I'm, we'll all have a great time in Crete, and we look forward to meeting everyone uh, in person if we haven't already. 
And then the other plans that we have, this is currently going on, um, but we wanted to add it in here as it hasn't wrapped up yet, is our performance review cycle. So we started the performance review cycle for the first half of 2017. So that would be January through June. And uh, currently it's still pending. There's uh, two days left to be able to submit your reviews. If you can't make that deadline, please reach out and let us know. Uh, but once the review cycle has closed, then the managers will be able to see a packet and so will the uh, individual contributors of their direct reports uh, to be able to see where the gaps are between a manager review and a self review. And the next step will be to set up meetings or take some time during your one on one with your direct reports in order to go over um, the review in itself. There is an open issue. I didn't link it here because it was opened um, yesterday. I will go back in and add that on the performance review cycle. So if you have any comments, any concerns, any questions, please uh, update that issue. And then once the cycle is over, we can take that feedback and iterate onto the next performance review cycle to make it um, a better experience for everyone. But please make sure to wrap up those reviews and also mm -hmm. to um, meet with your direct reports mm -hmm. uh, to really have a great, um, I think Victor, you are unmuted, um, to have a, an experience to be able to understand where performance is um, meeting expectations, exceeding expectations, et cetera. So if you have any questions on that, again, please reach out. And then I will pass it over to Abby to finish up our plans. Thanks, Brittany. Yeah, so I just have a couple of things. Um, the first is that we will be rolling out some compliance training on um, discrimination, and that should be anti-discrimination and anti-sexual harassment. Um, these courses will be via um, Grovo, and I will be sending those out to everyone probably in the next two weeks or so. Um, I also need to add country-specific requirements to the current um, anti-harassment policy that's currently in the handbook to cover all the different countries and the requirements that they have. Um, the other thing that we're working on um, is looking at our benefits. We have an OKR um, to develop and document our benefit plans even further than we are doing at the moment. We're starting off um, with the UK with a pension scheme there because that is a um, requirement that's coming into force as of January next year so I will be working on that and there is an issue there um, for that and I believe that is everything don't think I've missed anything so I think we are over to questions please shout them out or type them in the chat um, anything that you want to ask the people ops team All right, well, if there are no questions, unless anything's come in the chat, I can't see it. So please shout out if that's the case. Um, thank you so much for joining the functional group update and we look forward to seeing you in five weeks.